Uh, I'm Dan O'Neill. I run the Smart Chicago Collaborative, um, which is a civic organization devoted to improving lives in Chicago through technology. I'm really stoked to be here uh, to talk about the, the civic user testing group, the cut group, um, uh, to help change the relationship between government and residents. So at Smart Chicago, we are, our founding partners are the City of Chicago, the MacArthur Foundation, and the Chicago Community Trust. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, dig. They're doing it. Awesome. I'm not in control. I like not being in control. Uh, so, so, right? So it's the City of Chicago, the MacArthur Foundation, and the Chicago Community Trust. Uh, so with two of the leading philanthropies devoted to work in Chicago, and the municipal government itself guiding our efforts, we're able to do big things fast. Um, our focus is on access, skills, and data. And that's a frame that we think really is, is, is powerful. Access to the internet, um, skills once you're on the internet, and, and, and data so that there's something meaningful to look at once you're on the internet. Uh, these are necessary components of civic uh, technology. So we're in a pretty good spot here in the civic innovation sector of the technology industry. Uh, government data is more abundant. Uh, lots of developers are interested in the work. And, uh, you know, the internet explosion moves on. Uh, I put this picture here um, because I like it. Uh, <laughs> and I took it, uh, just like all the other photos here. I have 37,000 photos on Flickr, uh, licensed as Creative Commons, so please use them. Um, so, but there's also an odd immaturity to the space that we're in. Government data is, is bulky, with an A, and, and lacks fluidity. Developers scratch their own itches, and apps often lie fallow. Residents want more info on a whole slew of practical problems, but they often lack the relationships or the knowledge to get what they need when they need it. So the Cut Group is, structure, is a structured attempt to address all this. We start by recruiting residents to test civic apps. They fill out a simple profile, and they get a $5 Visa gift card. In eight months, we've signed up 517 people from every ward in the city. Uh, and if you know anything about Chicago, to get that kind of coverage uh, throughout the entire city, it, it's difficult. So we work hard for that kind of coverage by recruiting in traditionally underrepresented neighborhoods. We uh, segment our list to find the most relevant residents to test a particular app. If they do a test, uh, they get a $20 Visa gift card and bus fare. Uh, we address all aspects of the civic technology system in this comprehensive model up and down. Uh, for access, we uh, conduct all of our tests out in the open, in libraries, health centers, community rooms, public computer centers. One third of Chicago residents do not have broadband internet access at home. We believe this towering fact should inform our work. We also do uh, some remote access testing, but getting close uh, matters a lot to us. Meeting people in situ, where they access our technology inside their communities, is key. So this is a common mode of community engagement, um, except we come as a supplicant, looking for ways to, that we can change, rather than experts looking to convince them of our plan. This is no small difference. Our motto is, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. That way, we're all developing skills, everyone learning from everyone else. You can just see in this picture the different forms of learning and sharing, the talking, listening, writing, observing. And we're all focused on the app, a shared interface, literally and figuratively on the same page, online and IRL at the same time. We see hope in this model for more light and less heat. All of this is about data and how the resident will use it. Pure Jacob Nielsen, asking, watching, listening, intently. What is more engaging than this, to be the subject of the extended gaze of people who want to make things for you, things that you love? And that's what we're after. We're in the love business.
just like everybody else. If we can't become popular in the most base sense of the word, where people crave their connections to what data we have to offer in whatever form, then we can't really be of consequence. And this is why we have to include everybody. And everybody means everybody. And the only way we can do this is by consciously and deliberately developing systems for inclusion, going beyond our own Twitter ping pong retweet chambers, beyond our own wants, beyond our own physical spaces, into a real communion with resonance. We think the civic user testing group is one way to get to that. So I thank you for your time. I look forward to the conversation. I want to meet every single one of you and talk to you about this. So let's do that.